Hi, my name is Brad Laidwig and welcome to Separation Processes. This is the first pre-lecture video for this unit and I'm going to be running through a few different things to get you started. I'm going to introduce the staff uh, involved with teaching the unit. I'm going to talk about the teaching and learning methods in this unit. I'm going to let you know about some of the uh, exciting things we've got planned relating to social media this semester. I'm going to introduce a, a research study that I'm running in the semester this unit and tell you about that and ask for your involvement. And I'm going to finish up the video by talking about the assessment uh, and how it's changed a little bit this semester compared to last semester in this unit. And finally, a few tips for success. So firstly, let me introduce myself. My name is Brad Laidwig. I'm one of the academic staff here in the Department of Chemical Engineering at Monash University and I'll be the unit coordinator and the lecturer for this unit. Uh, there's a second lecturer for this unit, her name is Tan Yuen, and she'll also be heavily involved with running this unit, but in particular behind the scenes. She'll be running a lot of the organisation relating to the tutorials and the assessment. So you'll get to know both of us uh, as the semester goes by, and we both look forward to getting to know you. Let me talk a little bit about the teaching and learning method in this unit. So we'll be doing something a little bit different this semester that you probably haven't encountered before, but which will be used a lot more as you go through Monash University, and that's called blended learning. So what blended learning means is that instead of just having face-to-face -face instruction, like in lectures and tutorials, there's an online aspect to the unit as well. In this particular unit, what that means is that each week, there'll be an online pre-lecture video that you need to watch. This is the first one of those. After you've watched that online lecture each week, uh, there's a, a section of the textbook that you need to read, and having seen both of those things, there's a short quiz that you need to complete in Moodle. What that quiz is there for is to test your understanding of the material from the text that week and what I've presented in the pre-lecture video. For the first two weeks of semester, those quizzes are formative. They're just to let you try it out, see how it's going. They'll be marked and you'll, you'll get the marks, but uh, they won't count towards your final grade. From weeks three to week 12, each one of those online quizzes will count for half of 1%. So they're summative. They count towards your final grade in the unit. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that we will use social media a lot in this unit. Okay, It's as social as can be. Starting from the top, we will have a Facebook group. So that Facebook group is a moderated group. If you want to join it, and I encourage you to do so, click on the Facebook logo in the Moodle site, and it'll take you to the group where you can request to join. So one of the moderators will have to check that you really are a student enrolled in this unit and then they'll allow you into the group. So an important thing there is make sure the profile that you're using on Facebook has your name attached to it. Uh, if you're using something other than your name uh, on the internet and you try to join the group, chances are the moderators will reject your request to join. We'll be using Google Plus. Uh, for those of you that are using Google Plus, this is a particularly good one to use with your Monash University student email address. So obviously Monash University is subscribed to a suite of Google products like Google Mail and Google Docs. That includes Google Plus. So you can use Google Plus with your uh, Monash University student email address. Uh, I'll be using my Twitter feed, at Brad Laidwig, uh, to communicate a lot of announcements about the unit. So if you're on Twitter, feel free to follow me. Uh, there will be a LinkedIn group for this unit. In fact, I've already created a LinkedIn group for this unit. And that will be used not so much for day-to-day -day announcements in the unit, but really to allow you guys, all of the students in this group, to start networking with each other. Because once you leave university, you will all become professionals working out there in the real world. And when you are a professional out there in the real world, the networks that you have with your colleagues from university and your other colleagues and peers are critically important. So I'd really encourage you, if you're not on LinkedIn, to get into LinkedIn, join the LinkedIn group for this unit. We'll start a few discussions rolling in that group, and in particular those discussions will focus on how are you going to use the things you learn in this unit in your career, especially if you choose a career in chemical engineering. Finally, uh, YouTube is the number one place on the internet for online video and all of these videos will be hosted uh, in my YouTube channel called ChemEng Resources. So please use any or all of the social media channels uh, to help you in this unit this semester to receive updates, to receive resources like these videos, to communicate with us, but most importantly, 
to communicate with yourselves, with the other students doing this unit, because they are a terrifically valuable resource. The next thing I wanted to talk about was a research study that I'm running in the unit this semester. So the purpose of that study is to determine if online videos like this one and participation in traditional class tutorials actually have any impact on your performance in the unit. It's something that hasn't been measured before in engineering, but that we'd dearly love to know. Uh, the data that I'm collecting to do that study is quite straightforward. It's two short surveys. Each one should take about five minutes of your time. One is right at the beginning of the semester and one is at the end of semester. There's a few other elements of data that I'll be collecting, but that which you don't have to uh, fill out a form to give me, and that is your attendance at the tutorials. So the tutorials in this unit are not compulsory, just like in most other chemical engineering units, but we will be keeping a record of who attends each week uh, to, to allow us to, to cross-reference that to your performance in the unit, and also the viewing statistics for videos like this one in Moodle. One thing I really want to stress is that your privacy, the privacy of the data that you provide, is absolutely 100% respected and protected in this study. Uh, all of the information that's collected will be put into a spreadsheet and your names will be replaced by uh, an alphanumeric code, so it can't be linked back to you. And on top of that, all of the data that's collected will only be analysed next semester after the results for this unit have been released and are finalised. So there's no way at all that, that your responses uh, can, can be used against your wishes. So please uh, take, take the time to read about the study and then when I provide you uh, with the consent form and the, the survey in week one, please sign up and participate in the study. For it to be effective, I really need 100% of the class to participate. Anything less than that and the reliability of the data starts to fall away. So, let's talk about assessment. So assessment is a big thing in every unit at the university because it's the way that we check that you really have learned what we're trying to teach you and that you can demonstrate at a, at a certain level of proficiency what, what we want you to learn. So all of the formal details for the assessment in this unit are contained in the unit guide. How many assessment items they are, when they're due, what they're all about, it's all in the unit guide. That is the one definitive place for you to find the information about the assessment in this unit. So please download the unit guide from the Moodle site, flick to the little table that has all the details of the assessment and put all of the dates into your calendar. Another thing I wanted to mention is that we listen to your feedback. We listen very carefully to your feedback in this unit. And one thing that came out from the feedback last semester was that there were too many assessment items in this unit. And by that, I mean we used to do five assignments in this unit and three class tests. So this year, based on the feedback we've got, we've reduced that to four assignments and just two class tests, and we've increased the weighting of them slightly. So you'll do less assessment items this semester. The last thing I want to talk about is how to be successful in this unit. So these things I can tell you based on my past experience with this unit. You should watch the online videos that we provide each week. You should read the required textbook readings each week and you should complete the online quiz. If you do those three things alone, you will already be well and truly up to date with the content in this unit. Secondly, come and participate in the lectures and the tutorials. So not just listen, not just sit there passively in the lectures and let it all wash over you, not just uh, skip the lectures and download it from ULO later and, and watch it online, actually come to the lectures, bring your questions, bring your experiences, and, and participate in the lectures. So when I'm running through the material, if there's something you don't understand, put your hand up, ask the question. Ideally, we'd like you to do that, because trust me, if there's something you don't understand when I'm going through the lecture, it's almost certain that many other people in the class also don't understand it. So don't be afraid, put your hand up, I'll pause and answer your question. I really urge you to immerse yourself in this unit, especially using Facebook and the other social media channels. Uh, my experience last semester, last year teaching this unit, was that Facebook was very popular. There was a lot of discussion in the Facebook group. I hope that that's replicated and expanded this year. So please, if you're on Facebook, go to the group for, for, for this unit, ask to join, and once you're in there, get chatting about the unit with the other members of the class. Finally, keep up to date in the unit. It's really important that you don't get behind with the material. That's unlikely to happen if, you, if you're uh, watching these online videos and doing your required readings each week, but make sure you're turning up to class and that you're aware of the due dates for all the assessment items. 
put them in your calendar before the semester even starts is my advice. And last of all, have some fun. Uh, uni is, is about learning, but it's also about having a, a wonderful experience. And I hope that participating in this unit is enjoyable for you this semester. So come along, participate, and have some fun. That's it for now. See you later.